Well, I'm probably about the roughest character you can imagine. And uh, when I, before I started the workshops, I had quite a hard time getting a date even. There's a lot of pain and suffering out there, and it's hard to stay open and not take it on. And I think now I'm getting to a place where I can, I can stay open and I don't have to take it on. I used to have, for some reason, just a bunch of negative thoughts crowding out anything that was positive about me almost any time of the day. I was afraid to be rejected or, or turned down. Uh, so many situations I would let things pass that I really would have liked to do or, or something and because I didn't want to bother people. The average child gets 432 negative messages to 32 positive messages every single day. So that's violence. We are buffeted with that kind of violence, the negative messages. The Human Awareness Institute, empowering individuals to be potent, loving, contributing human beings. HI promotes personal growth and social evolution by replacing ignorance and fear with awareness and love. The Human Awareness Institute aims to create a world where people live together in dignity, respect, understanding, trust, kindness, honesty, compassion, and love. The Human Awareness Institute is committed to creating a world where everyone wins. In the next few minutes, you'll have an opportunity to meet some of the people who are part of this commitment to human awareness, and you'll hear from some of the people whose lives have been touched by unique experiences of love and communication. Hi, my name is Stan Dale. I'd like to tell you about the Human Awareness Institute that I started in 1968. I started the Human Awareness Institute because it felt like most people were not aware of what being a human being was all about. All of the vagaries of a human being, all of the woofs and warps of a human being, the things that make a human being human. And what I've found over these past 25 years is that most people are indeed unconscious about who they are, what the possibilities are, what the options are, what the alternatives are, why it is that we do what we do, and how can we do it differently. And I developed some workshops called Sex, Love, and Intimacy. The Human Awareness Institute, HAI, or HI for short. Dr. Stan Dale and the other facilitators of the Human Awareness Institute present the sex, love, and intimacy workshops at locations around the world. In California, weekend workshops are held at the beautiful Harbin Hot Springs Conference Center, about two hours north of San Francisco. As we take a brief tour of the Harbin Conference Center and grounds, we'll also hear about some of the themes that are explored in depth at HI workshops. What if I were to tell you that you are pure love, whether you know it or not? And that's one of the things that we explore at the workshops. The workshops really are about love. And ideally, the workshop would be called Pure Unconditional Love. Stan Dale is a lecturer, transactional analyst, and is on the faculty of the Institute for the Advanced Study of Human Sexuality in San Francisco. His most recent book, My Child, Myself, was published in 1992. Facilitator Peter Rengel is a heart meditation teacher, author of Seeds of Light and Living Life in Love. First of all, I love that it's called a sex, love, and intimacy workshop in one way because it's actually true that we're dealing with sexuality and love and intimacy. And in another way, I know that that scares some people, just the title itself. And um, because we aren't trained, we don't know that it's okay to go to a school around sexuality. And what happens at the workshops is um, a lot of experiential things around learning to be intimate and communicate with one another. And even people who are having um, good sex lives and, and feel fine about their sexuality, there's something so much more that goes on here around opening the heart and around love and around intimacy that only enhances their sexuality and only makes it so that they feel safe enough to go deeper with another person and explore their sexual relationship as well as their intimate relationship, as well as their love relationship, as well as their friendships. And it carries over into all parts of their lives. And I just watch miracles happen here. Ann Watts is a hypnotherapist, educator, mediator, and counselor, and has been a high facilitator for over 11 years. My experience was that I found a philosophy that I wanted to live and breathe. And for me, what I knew is the only way I was going to really get it in every pore of my being and live and breathe it was to keep coming back. And 
what's happened for me, the transformation has been phenomenal. When I think about who I was 10 years ago and who I am today, there's just no comparison. And what I got was a sense of really deep personal potency, a real appreciation of myself as a human being, and enormous joy. So, so that my life is a joyful life and my interactions with people are joyful. And, and it's, it's like the safest room on earth to learn to, to live love, to really get that we are love and, and that love isn't something that we have to earn or, or, or work for or that, that we can just be that. And so, you know, like I just came and I'd, I'd get, hear all this stuff and, and, uh, and I'd go home and practice. And, and the major thing that I keep getting is the awesome power of our thought. And, and, and the most, like, how I've changed my life is changing my thinking. And in changing my thinking, continuing to open my heart, opening my heart inward and outward at the same time. So, so there's nothing here between me and you but love. The facilitators and staff who serve at workshops all began as regular participants. Sarah Jo Sand is one of High's newer facilitators, and she recalls how she became involved with High. What got me into the workshop was I had, uh, had moved out from my husband for a year and because we had such a hard time communicating and didn't communicate much during the year. And we went out for dinner and had a conversation. And uh, when I said, well, this bothered me or that bothered me, he said, thank you very much for telling me. And it was such a different response than I had experienced before. It was like, whoa, what's, what's happened here? And he had gone through the workshops during the course of the year. And they'd made a huge impact on him and uh, therefore on us. And it was like uh, an opening to being able to communicate with one another. I felt heard. He, he turned into a listener instead of so defensive. And that, for him, came directly out of the workshops and takes two to tango. So mm -hmm. when one changes, the whole thing changes and we ended up getting back together. I, I think it's, it's the safest, uh, most respectful and loving place that I've ever been in. And what happened for me is, out of the acceptance that I got for me, for Sarah Jo as I was and am right now, uh, came the, uh, the facility inside myself to change. Uh, I've been to so many workshops and it's sort of pound, pound, and this is wrong and you need to change that. And the, the approach of the atmosphere is so entirely different that I, it's so supportive that, that uh, I, from feeling so much better about myself as I am, I can change.